we take a look at your Cricut Explorer and you see the smart dial, there's a little setting on there that says custom. Well, in this video, we're going to show you where you can find those custom settings, where you can actually add your own custom setting and it will always be remembered and it's attached to your user ID. Okay, so let's go ahead and show you the method or the menu of the cutter settings. Okay, so right here it has manage custom materials. And when you click this, uh, you may see this little drop down menu, but uh, I have it connected via USB as well as Bluetooth. And I'm just going to choose USB. It does seem to go faster if I do go through USB. But while this thing is connecting to it, uh, you do need to have a couple things set up for this. One, you need to be logged in. Two, you need to have the machine powered on. And three, you need to be able to connect to your Cricut machine. So as you can see, uh, we have the dial presets here. We have paper, vinyl, iron on, light cardstock, cardstock fabric, and poster board. And right now it's being sorted by the cut pressure here. And you can sort of see the variance of the cut pressure. So we have 158 as the minimum and we have 333 as the extreme. Now if you need something lower than some of these values, that's where the custom material comes into play. And they have several of them that are already made and tested, but of course they can't go in your house and test those for you. So you may find that these values do not work. Okay, now can you edit these? Well, you can go ahead and click that little button right here, and now you're able to edit the values because maybe maybe your pressure needs to be a little more for this material. Maybe you need to turn your multi-cut on and change this to maybe two times or three times, and it, it's all dependent upon the material, okay? You can also change the blade type. We have regular or deep cut, and of course, you can always add a new material if it's not listed here already. But you can see that we do have a, a nice wide variety. So we have the, the material that are in the 122s and we have them all the way up to the 344. Now if you have you know maybe a material that works really well with maybe you know the 142 you see that we don't have any material that's in that range. So that's when you would want to create your own or maybe modify these. But this one right here, I just want to show you this one is a custom one that I made. You can change the name. Of course, this machine cannot cut concrete, but you can use this slider value to change the cut pressure. You can use the plus and minus. And of course, like we always said before, you can you can touch on the multi-cut and the blade type. Then all you have to do is uh, click save and those values will hold. So how do you delete a custom material on here? Well, uh, we saw the little trash can right here. We can click on that and uh, it will be deleted. All right.